Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the yo-yo trick how to miss a hook, and it looks like this. Okay, so this is a kind of fundamental um, whip slash hook trick that you're going to need to learn if you want to kind of progress into the more difficult hooks like 2.0 hook, uh, etc. So this is kind of a difficult uh, concept and just a, a hard trick to learn. It looks simple um, when you're seeing other people do it. Just looks like you, know, you pop up the yo-yo and you whip the string around. However, it's kind of foreign if you haven't done many slack or whip tricks before. So it is something that is going to probably take a little bit of time to learn. So in this video, I'm just going to try to help you guys, um, with, gives you guys some tips and just show you how to do it. Hopefully it helps. Um, you can learn a little bit quicker. So first step is to simply throw a breakaway and just let the yo-yo hang like that. Now, once we're in this breakaway, we need to pop the yo-yo up. So we want to pop the yo-yo up right about wherever your finger is. So whenever I do it, I pop it just about to where my finger is, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower. It doesn't really matter as long as it's not like super high up or super low like that. It just needs to be pretty close to your finger just like that. So you can keep practicing and just trying to get it as close to your finger as possible because if it's all the way up here, hook's not going to work. All the way down here, hook's not going to work. So it needs to be close to your finger in the height. And also we want to make sure that we are in line with our fingers. We're not popping it way in front of us or way too close to us. Make it right in line with your finger and that'll help you with the whip. Okay, so once we've learned how to pop it up and get it right next to our finger, we need to learn how to do the whip. So we want to whip in a clockwise motion, just like that. And I kind of like to, you can pinch the string here or you can just have your hand like this. It really doesn't matter. It's just a personal preference. Um, but like I said, in a, a clockwise motion, we want to whip the string. And you, when you see, I'll pause the, the video and show you guys that two strings actually form when you whip in this counterclockwise motion. So we're going to whip. We're going to come around the yo-yo just like that. And like I said, you're going to notice those two strings form. And we want that front string to actually land into the front half of the yo-yo. So when we these strings whip over, we actually want them to both whip over our hand. Right there, only the back string whipped over. So we need to actually get both strings to whip over our hand and to land the hook. So, like I said, there's two strings coming around and we want both of those strings to come over our hand, okay? So I'll, I'll slow it down and show you what I'm talking about. But once you understand what's actually going on, it might be a little bit easier to kind of learn how to do the trick. Okay, so once you've seen those two strings coming around, we need to learn how to actually properly land the hook. And so to actually land the hook, what we need to do is, like I said, always make sure that the yo-yo is close to your hand like that. And we don't actually need to whip super fast. A big mistake that people make when they're first learning this trick is that they'll try to whip super quickly like this, and it just doesn't work because there's no need to actually be going that fast. If you other, see a lot of people, other people doing it, you'll notice it's nice and slow and controlled motion. It actually doesn't need to be like a super fast whipping motion. So, when we whip, make sure it's nice and slow and controlled. And at the end, we kind of want to whip a little bit faster right at the end. Because if we're slow the whole entire time, it's not going to have enough slack to kind of carry over. So we're kind of slow and then whip kind of fast right at the end. So we're like that and kind of whip faster right at the end. Kind of as if you were throwing a football or a ball of any sort. You kind of come back and then you um, kind of throw it forward fast. Just like this, we're going to go kind of slow and then really quickly there to land the whip okay and so all this comes down to is a lot of practice so it's kind of you're probably going to be sitting here and missing for like you know it's just going to look like this where you're just constantly missing like 200 times in a row but once you figure out and get the feel of it you will be able to get it down but like i said it really just comes down to having a nice slow controlled motion whipping in that counterclockwise motion and um, making sure that you're not whipping too quickly or too frantically. So once you've landed the hook uh, to dismount, you just flip over your non-throw hand index finger to the left, and then you take your throw hand and uh, not throw hand, you throw in, and you just underpass the other just like that. So I'll show that again. Um, we're just flipping over our non-throw hand and then coming in underpassing like that, and you can just bind. So yeah, pretty much all you are doing here is you're popping it up to your finger length or your finger height, I should say rather, and you're whipping it in a counterclockwise motion. 
and allowing those two strings to come into the gap of the audio. So I'm gonna show some slow-mos um, and kind of show how the two strings go into the gap of the audio. Um, so let me go do that. 